Hello everybody, I'm Marete Sanderhoff from SMK, Statens Museum for Kunst, that's the National Gallery of Denmark. We're situated in central Copenhagen and we're the largest art collection in the country. It's part of our obligation as public institution to make our collections and research as widely available as possible. I started working at SMK in 2007. It was a project to present our collections and research online in ways that would make people really delve deep into the content and make new discoveries of relations and meanings. I've got a master in art history, so no tech background at all. Uh, but once I started working with this, it became obvious to me that the web offers unique opportunities to scale up the reach and impact of our collections. In this project, we wanted to show not only our own stuff, but also related artworks in other collections. It made sense to us to bring together on the web what was physically dispersed in collections around the world. However, it was a real wake-up call uh, when we discovered how extremely time-consuming time and expensive this was going to be. Not because of the technology, that was perfectly suited for linking together vast amounts of content and making discovery easy for users. No, it was the restrictive image licensing that stood in the way, even on art that had been in the public domain for ages. We thought this is stupid and outdated, and it doesn't have to be that way. So in 2009, we uh, started a pilot project with four other Danish art museums to establish free image sharing of digital images. This kicked off a change process at SMK towards an open content policy. In 2011, we were asked to join the Google Art Project. Saying yes would entail that Google gained use rights over our high-res images. As a publicly funded museum, how could we defend giving those rights to a private company when we kept charging the general public to access the same images. So we decided to release our Google Art Project contribution um, for free download with a Creative Commons attribution license. One of the concerns was the classic fear that if we release our images, uh, people will use them in improper ways. Europeana's statement about the public domain and how it's the obligation of cultural institutions to protect it was important for us. Also, discovering that most museums are actually losing more money than they earn on licensing their images was a decisive factor. Both our own research in the pilot project and that of people like Simon Tanner, Ken Hammer and Michael Edson helped prove that point. The decision to use the CC BY license was a huge victory internally. Initially, the management was leaning towards non-commercial, non-derivative uh, because of the perceived fear of improper use uh, outside our control. But we all wanted to reap the benefits of our images appearing in Wikipedia articles, like we've seen with the Rijksmuseum in Amsterdam. And Wikipedia doesn't accept non-commercial restrictions. We know that Creative Commons licenses shouldn't be applied to public domain artworks, but it's as far as we could get for now, and it's a start. So far, SMK has just released the 160 images from the Google Art Project, but the impact is great. The images have been downloaded almost 10,000 times, and they are used in new contexts such as Wikipedia, social media, public schools, creative projects and commercial products. One example of reuse that I'm really excited about is that a group of young art pilots from SMK have collaborated with the people living uh, by a construction site for the Metro in Copenhagen to co-create a 70 meter long art remix of our open images um, to uh, embellish the fence around the construction site. Um, the remix has gotten lots of positive attention in the media and the public, and it has just uh, been voted best Metro Fence of the year. 
The effort to open up our collections has spurred a more collaborative spirit in the Danish museum community. We want to send users onto each other and to share knowledge and platforms. The pilot initiatives are paving the way for a general policy change to open licensing and free access to high quality content in the public domain. So our understanding of authority and control has really changed how we as a museum should handle our digitized collections. They don't belong to us, they belong to the public. We're here to look after them and make them available and useful to the public. Use equals value.